Hi, it's Mark for Ableton Daily, and today I'd like to talk about volume automation. And there is a little tip that I learned, and I'd like to share it with you. And so, what is automation? Well, a lot of you probably know what automation is. It's uh, very useful when creating music in Ableton Live, and uh, basically all it is is uh, just parameters in Ableton are moving by themselves and you have control of what they do and how they move and uh, a just really basic demonstration would be a volume control if I click on the main volume fader I will get a red line indicating that it's ready for me to apply the automation I can simply double click on the line to create a little handle that I can move around and you can create downward, upward slopes. You can draw automation if you want to. Uh, you can just you can hear the automation that we've applied to this little drum loop here. Okay, but the whole point of this video is to show you a little tip, and you can see now that we've applied automation to the master fader or the master volume control of this track. And since we've done that, uh, we're no longer able to control the overall volume of this channel unless we have a plug-in or, or something like that to increase the volume of the channel. And it sort of defeats the purpose for mixing traditionally. So if I go to the session view and you can see that there's a little red dot on the arrow on the fader and that's just indicating that there is automation applied to this fader here or for this channel and we're really no longer able to control the overall volume of this channel any longer because we've almost designated the volume to automation instead and so a way around this and a little tip I learned and I'm using it now so what I'll do here is delete this automation for this channel Okay, and let's go down here to channel number two or track number two. I have some strings and stuff down here. I'll go ahead and unsolo this and bring my level up all the way on channel number one. And we'll go ahead and play this back. A little, uh, just some basic thing I threw together here. <laughs> Okay, what we're going to do is on the second clip on this channel number two, I'm going to increase the volume, sort of like a little volume slope right about here. And I'm just going to make the volume turn up by itself right at the end of this clip, just to create some maybe like some effect or, or something like that. So before I do that, well, we're not going to use the master fader on this channel. What we're going to do is use this little uh, plugin in Ableton. It's underneath the audio effects folder. Okay. And down here it's called utility. And drag this into the channel's effects box right down here. And it's just a very basic utility plugin. You've, you've probably seen it before. Uh, it just contains uh, a gain control, some left and right stereo swapping controls, uh, a panning control, and also a stereo width control, and some like phase options down here. But what we're going to focus on is the gain control because we want to use the gain on a plugin instead of using our master channels volume control over here. So to select the gain or to look or to see the automation for this gain control, all we have to do is just click on it. If you click on it, not moving the mouse or anything, just clicking on it, you can see that it becomes selected. And as soon as you click on it, look up on the channel right here and you can see that it's switched to utility, just telling you that it's now displaying the automation for this plugin. And for which parameter it's displaying, uh, right underneath it, you'll find a gain control here. Okay, 
And that's what we're going to automate or create automation for. So what we're going to do, what we originally planned, I was just going to make this little volume slope at the end of this clip here just to show you. So I'll just double click on the automation line here, make another handle, and I'll just increase this up just a little bit so you can tell the difference. And we'll go ahead and play this back. Okay, and we got quite a bit of reverb on that there. All right, so we've added automation here, added volume automation, but we have not affected the master volume control for this channel. So it really doesn't matter how low the volume is or how high the volume is, you'll still be able to hear the gain automation being, you know, taking place there. So I'll go ahead and play this back and at a much lower volume now. There you go. And you can't see the automation because I've, I've clicked on volume, but... So there you have it. That's just a sort of an alternative to using the master fader uh, for automation. It was a little, kind of a little uh, bad habit when I was getting so immersed into the music that I was creating. I didn't really think about it, you know. It's like I'm controlling the, autom the overall volume of the track using automation. It's just, it's just really not a very... Uh, a practical way of working that's so by having this extra little plugin here utility plugin it hardly takes up any cpu uh i actually i have it automatically defaulted when i uh open up ableton live for the first time i have a utility plugin on each of my channels because i know i'm gonna you know use it so so there you have it there's a helpful little tip for uh controlling the automation of your volume in Ableton Live. So thank you very much. Uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow.